on, brothers and sisters. Liberation is near. It's almost time. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. What's going on, everyone? This is your Hood Geniuses Podcast, and this is Lady T. And I'm going to ask for y'all to bear with me. I'm a little <laughs> horse. On this episode, but I'm going to try my best, yo. I really want to be able to record, so here it is. Yeah, you know how we do. This is Ms. 100 with the Hood Geniuses Podcast. And this is episode 62, and it's going to be a little one, y'all. Yeah, so let's get it. Y'all know how we always like to do this. Lady T, how was your, you know what, fuck, how was your week? How was your month? Because the, for those who don't know, the month of March... Was Lady T month? (laughs) (laughs) It's your birthday month. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, how was your month? Because it's April now. Well, um, I just want to say I'm still partying because I turned 40. So, I figured I was going to party for 40 days. So, it started Mm. March the 1st and it ends on April 9th. So, I'm still partying. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I have no voice. Well, I have a voice, but it's barely there because I'm having so much fun. You know. Being yeah. blessed, yeah, this yeah. Earth before but this. come on now, you know you you're gonna just summarize your shit just like that. Just Lady T, you know she was out in Vegas oh, stunting man. on us. Oh, you know, man. What I'm saying? I wasn't even stunt man. I was out there networking, yo. I was out there dope, still working. Dope. You know, what I'm saying work don't sleep. You know, what I'm saying like we still we don't. What dream hearts don't sleep forever, dream hard don't sleep forever. You know how we say, you know how we <laughs> yeah, do exactly, you know what I'm saying. But you know, the concoctions are still flowing through my veins, so yeah, you know, from yeah. time to time, I might start shaking like I got to Rex or something, but it's just those concoctions are still flowing through my blood, you know. You know, it's nothing you could take for that, you just gotta like, you know, drink plenty of water to you know, flush it out. Yeah, I hear you, you know what I'm saying. You, know, you still sound a little bent from Vegas, yo, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Still sound a little bent, you know, but we're going to keep it moving. That's but right, overall, right. like you said, 40 days you celebrating. Yeah, man. You know, that's yeah, that's yeah. a blessing to yeah. reach the age of 40. Like we all know, you know, this isn't, you know, these minutes, hours, time, whatever is not, it's not a given. No, you know, no it's, we on all. God's time. That's right. That's Real not, talk. Definitely. You know. But um, as far as my weekend, because you you did some new shit, I wasn't ready for that. You talking about your month? Damn, I, you know, damn, I, I can't yeah. remember what I did yesterday. All that libations <laughs> I was having or whatever. But yeah. yeah, my weekend was cool or whatever. Um, and the reason why I don't have a voice is because you know I was I was out there in the streets. You know, I was out there yeah. partying, having a good time. You know, but you know that's what we do. Yeah, you yeah. know, Ashley, that segue into it. Our shout outs. Mm-hmm. We got a shout out the homie, friend of the family, the bro, Meaty. He came in town last mm-hmm. Friday to celebrate his 40th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And shit, that actually helped. You know, he had the um, Hood Geniuses come out and we celebrated the 40th with him. Yeah. We was at the social, um, was it Golf and Social Club, a yeah. new spot that none of us been. Right. You know, we had the little VIP section. Yeah. You know, to celebrate the homie birthday. Came down from NYC and all that. And, you know, it, we had a good time. Um, yeah, we had to break it in. We yeah, we sure in. did because we was style. over there dancing and shit. Yeah, they we wasn't the ready section. for that one. They wasn't oh, ready for nah, that one. Nah, they wasn't it was ready. Some in they there. They wasn't ready. Bit. They wasn't ready. <laughs> but we broke them in. We broke yeah. them in real good. We left our signature. You know what I'm saying? We sure did because you see that. That put the light on us. We, the, well, the spotlight on us because uh-huh. the board, you know. I forgot his name. He seen us over there. Yeah. He had to come out, come on and holler at us and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, he invited us to his party. Oh, man. Damn, that's and that cool. just, the other one man. was epic. You know he having his at B-Side, right? Yeah, B-Side. Man, it's Y'all, going right down. Delaware Ave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out, Meaty. You know, that's friend of the family, uh, right. one of our loyal listeners, even though the board do not like when we have guests. So he should appreciate this episode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying. He can't stand when we have guests. You know, and <laughs> that's no knock to none of the guests we have. Right. But 
You know, that's just his preference. You know, he's a loyal listener. He just right. don't like when we had guests. He prefer for it to just be Ms. 100 and Lady T. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but you know, he going he gonna to like it. Yeah. What do you say? What you gonna do to me, Lady T? Nuck and buck? I'm like, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> already know. You already know, meaty. You know what I'm saying? Lady T gonna nuck and buck your ass if you don't listen to every episode <laughs> and whether we have guests or not. I don't care if we just get a cat meowing on here. You gonna listen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So that's my homie. <laughs> Yo, so listen, we gotta make the announcement. I know we briefly touched on it. Um, actually, we got a shout out Brandon Fisher, the credit doctor, two one five. You know, so we gonna officially make that announcement. Um, the Hood Geniuses podcast actually became the Hood Geniuses LLC. So we are not only the official media for the Hood. And doing a podcast thing, but we're actually a business, and that's going to turn into all other types of ventures, you know, um, ventures mm-hmm. soon, to, soon to come. Definitely you know. soon to come. Definitely, yeah. So that's the blessing, and we worked hard for that. We worked hard for that, and we worked hard on it. You know, and yeah, it just, definitely. Honestly, it just it landed in our lap, honestly, because we were doing so much research and trying to find the right avenue. You know, because we were just getting bullshitted around or whatever. Facts. And it's kind of like it was Facts. a blessing just landing in our lap how we got it. So I'm just really grateful for that. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And while we're doing the shout, shout outs, uh, we got to shout out Villanova Wildcats. Villanova University just won the college championship. You, you, you know what? I, I got yeah. it. You know what? I was going to cut you off. I was just waiting to see how soon you was going to shout them out. Because oh, no, you was really... I, I sleep over there. I know you so, did. I know yeah. you did. I know you lost sleep. But that was going to be in our sports section, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, you shit, was I had to. I had, you know I'm too hyped to. I'm too hyped to. You saw I got, he got, I thought he had blue contacts and that's how I hate this boy <laughs> over here, yo. I'm like, yo, but your eyes change the colors or something? You got yeah. blue contacts? Yeah, yo. I was up. You know, we re- y'all, what y'all don't know is we recording on a Tuesday. So last night was Monday and the championship game. So yeah, got to shot them out again. They played the hell of a game. Yeah, they did. They did. Shit, they didn't wipe <laughs> everybody out when they when they started the tournament. Every team, five games is pretty much like a blowout. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I, mean? I was thinking that she was gonna actually do the worldly news on saying rest in peace to Winnie Mandela. Before you shout out the damn Villanova team, but I mean, okay, you, you got it. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know I mean? So yeah, you know, yeah. Um, you know, rest in peace to the to the the legend, the icon, Winnie Mandela. She passed away Monday, uh, April second, um, at the uh, Netcare Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa. Damn. So you know, yeah. if you can, you know, if you don't know about her, get on that Google machine and Google her, man. Like she was uh, one of the wives of um, Nelson Mandela, who was also a legend, an icon. Yeah, we're losing a lot of our yeah. legends. We to are the, to our ancestors. We He's are with this ancestors now. Definitely. Number peace and blessings to their family. You know, their family and everything in their estate. Right, and um, it's like we're losing them. It's like, or it, right? it's, yeah, eighty one. Is anyone yeah. being reborn in that place, or like, is anyone standing in that place? It's not. It's not many. Because let me tell you something. I don't want to hear no Al Sharpner and no Jesse. Mm. What's that fool name? Jesse Jacks. I don't. I don't listen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They a joke. Fucking opportunists. You yeah, know that's what I'm all. That's they all. they only pop up. We you don't hear nothing about them until somebody um get shot, or you know what I'm saying somebody get. Dragged in the middle of the street by a white person, or some you know some old racial shit. Yeah. And then that's when you see their face. But we need to see them all the time. Why we only see them when it's a march? You right. know what I mean? Or some racial stuff. We need to see them in the communities, rebuilding, having workshops, talking, giving back mm-hmm. with knowledge. It's not always about you know what they can give us as far as their pockets, money wise. You can knowledge don't cost nothing. Fact. Now you can just, you know, have a, a seminar and some type of workshop for the young men, you know, to teach them and show them of, you know, for the absentees of their, their fathers. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot going on out here in these families that, you know, male figures are not present. Yeah. And that's why a lot of our young boys are lost, you know, so. Ashley, that's what Dr. Umar Johnson was trying to. You know, the school was trying to be about that all boys, all black boys school. But 
you know, his situation surrounding so much controversy, but I'm starting to think a lot of shit is implanted around him. It, well, that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's a whole nother conversation. We don't know what the hell really happened with that. Yeah. You know, so... Definitely. My thing is like this. It seems like when you want to when you want to do a movement or something like that to be positive, you got to move in silence, and you only got to let people know that's serious about it. Your circle got to be really tight because there's so many fucking sellouts out here that will sell you so quick for a few dollars. They sell they soul for a few. They sell they fucking children. You know what I'm saying? So you you don't know who to take serious no more because because they ain't loyal out here the way they used to be. That's why so many positive things and workshops and this and that. You know, was demolished because you had so many moles, so many sellouts that didn't give a fuck. Well, as long as I get me twenty thousand out the deal, I'm good. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, so it's hard out here trying to kind of do things like that. You know, especially if you ain't got the right plug, or you know, if you ain't that person, person. Yeah, yeah, so. that's facts. Yeah, so we're gonna get into some news. You yeah. know, um, we get into the sports later. Then we're gonna get into the music. Mm-hmm. Like, like what we doing? We touching on. All the topics that stood out the most to us individually wise. Like, I don't know what she has. She she knows some of the stuff I have. She don't know everything. But, you know, that's how we do it. Conversational style, discussion style, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, Hood Geniuses, the official media of the hood, yo. Real talk. Definitely. Um, By the way, also, too, I want to shout out our five peoples over over saturated podcast. Excuse oh, me. Definitely. Excuse me. Let me say it again. Shout out to the Oversaturated Podcast on their one year anniversary. You know. Yeah, yeah. Must salute to John. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Johnny. And salute to Ralph. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My bad, bros. We always tweeting each other back and forth. Right. You know, but I it it's a shame how social media fuck your mind up because I almost spit out the Twitter handles and shit like oh, that. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what that's why I stumbled doing their names and right, shit like right, that. Right, you right. know what I mean? Well, at least we, you honest. You stumble because you are that. I stumble because I really do be fucking up people's names. <laughs> 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 I get it honest though. I get it from yeah. my grandma, okay? Yeah. Seriously. All jokes aside, you know. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? We also gotta shout out the podcast brothers. Yes. You know, they Which, another podcast. You know, extended family of ours, the f- part of the podcast family. The um, they always supporting and you know listening. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So shout out the podcast brothers. That's the brothers. They ge- genuine black balls. You know what I'm saying. Real life brothers and shit. That's why they call it the podcast brothers. Right. So yeah, shout them out and make sure you go follow them and go listen to them. Right. Real talk. And also, too, um, because we shouting them out, they shouted us out, so the shout out going to keep going on like that. One hand touches another, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because they really enjoyed the um, episode 61 with the Cray Doctor, and they, yep. you know, pulled out some things that kind of, you know, they, they touched on themselves and within their um, podcast. So, it's not about, you know, stepping on nobody's toes. We all, you know what I'm saying, we all covered different ba- bias uh, information. So it's not like, you know, oh, they doing better than us or they doing more than us. We all touching everybody in a, in a small, different way or a big way. You know, whatever way we touching somebody, you know, so it's enough room for everybody to yeah. do their thing. To do yeah. their thing. You, you know, it's crazy while I'm listening to you like this, Lady T. I'm almost starting to thank you about the uh, bust out some raps because <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it's not Lady T sitting, sitting next to me. I'm thinking it's motherfucking... <laughs> The Harriet Tubman of rap and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rod Digger. <laughs> Rod Digger next to me. You know what I'm saying? She got the horsey voice. You know what I'm saying? Like Rod Digger and shit. You, you know. Right. You funny. But you so know. So the other day you called me Herb the Perb and shit on Family Guy. <laughs> when I was trying to tell you why I couldn't record on Sunday. I'm like, yo, Mel, I can't record. I don't got no voice. He hits me back. Oh shit! Oh <laughs> shit! Yo, you sound like you sound like the bull off a of family got hurt the perv. Oh, so now you call me a, a perv now? I'll be damned. For those yeah. who don't know, go go Google Family Guy and it's this fool on there called Herb the Perv. Yeah, and yo, yeah, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. But um, not to get off subject. But yeah, I'm gonna start on this first little news, John. I came across came across this a while back. Um. I know you, you you heard of this. I I think you might have made brought my attention to this the uh 
the African American woman, RN, she um working for a hospital in mm-hmm. Hawaii. Mm-hmm. She was awarded over three million dollars because they had put a noose on her um her area or desk or whatever. They had like a noose. I think it was on um oh, it was at her locker. They put a noose on the jaw, whatever. Um what was it? Uh yep. They taped it. They taped it to the locker. So basically she won the case. Sued the hospital. She won over three million dollars, but you know she wasn't awarded the money yet. You know, I just had to put that out there. You know, this shit is the shit is all around us, y'all. So for some African Americans that walk around here with you know want to be blind to the fact that oh we're just the human race, there's no racism. You know, that's a it's like a fantasy. You 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 can believe that if you want, but sometimes. <clears throat> These stories, they touch you, and the stuff happening right around you. You just got to mm-hmm. open your eyes to, and be be wise to this shit, yo. I ain't saying to be out here to go smacking motherfuckers up, but... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to be wise. You're right. You got to be wise. You got to you gotta open your eyes to this shit. It's right there. Well, I mean, you're right about that. It's just... I mean, you got to stop. First of all, so many people just stop watching um, Fox 29, yo. They just... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, they just they, they part of the problem too. The, the the media is a major part of the problem. Media, yeah, there you go. Media, media period. period. Yeah, <laughs> you know because it's just not the black race warring with each other. It's all races, Fact. you know. And I mean, it's sad to say, but I mean, the news the news can be very damn depressing. Majorly, depressing, majorly though. depressing. You know. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying. So that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll get into the next story. Next John I came across is Bobby Brown. <laughs> I, it's a damn shame you bring up his name and you automatically start laughing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but ba- basically, Bobby Brown, he wants to change Whitney Houston's death certificate from saying that, that she died from an overdose because he's basically state, well, he's claiming that she died from a broken heart. Not an overdose, not drugs, none of that. So he wants the, her her fucking death certificate changed. <laughs> what you think about that? I, I doubt if it's gonna happen. You know, that's my opinion. You know, um, I mean. Okay, so I'm, I got it. I'm trying to do the calculations here. That's why my the frowns is in my forehead. If you notice, mm-hmm. um, how long has Whitney Houston been deceased? Man, that shit over what ten years, right? Has it been over ten? Close to it, right? Maybe close, close, to, it. close to it, yeah. Close to it. Um, so what pile of cocaine did he snort <laughs> before he put this out here in the media? He wanted to change that death certificate. Like, what did he get a new he batch of coat to snort? Like, I'm just trying to figure out. He wilding, yeah. Did he get some beige coat, some gray coat? Like, what kind of coke did he snort before he came up with this this magical? I want to change this, you know, ideal from. And then what about his daughter? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Come on, Bobby. You know, yeah. you went from you on your own to my prerogative to you just yeah. off. But you know, he's claiming that it was, you know, because of everything. As far as that was the things that was happening with her with, with her daughter, you know, the things that had happened with him and her, and just her little personal stuff's going on, like, but you know, I I think it's crazy. That ain't gonna happen. They ain't, come on, yo. Man, they, that's you can't not, change the death yeah. if it, it is what it is. Yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, they found drugs in her system. <clears throat> right. You know what I mean? Right. So, But listen, Whitney, you know, not to knock her, that's been her choice for a very long time. Facts. So Facts. that's not gonna happen. She's been doing drugs, you that's know. That's her history. She's been doing drugs so long, not to be disrespectful. It seemed like she was on drugs in her mom's womb. That's our low shit. Damn, yo. You know, um, She just came out like, you know what I'm saying? I have no comment on that. Uh, they was know? like, well, what kind of formula you want to give her? We just going to give her, you know, and I love Whitney Houston to death. Yeah. You know, some real shit. Like, she never gave it a break. She never gave it a break. You know, to each his own. That's what you wanted to do. That's what you wanted to do. Because yeah. I used to be like, damn, why she so skinny? Yeah. Yeah. She, you know, she woke up doing it. That was her breakfast, snack, yeah. lunch, and dinner. Yeah, you know, and I think she would have got a little break if Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro was on her heavy. 
Mm. You know, but she choose to get with Bobby Brown. And Bobby Brown wasn't no better. He like, yeah. we gonna do this together, baby. We yeah. in this together. He, he made it. You know, he ain't making no no better. Exactly. You know? So but, go go yeah. have a few seats, Bobby. Just to stop it. Yeah, I, he Somebody, need to just go, stay out of the media. Yeah. Go go relax. The Ghostbusters need to come and blast his ass because he didn't he make that song <laughs> on your own. Oh, no. <laughs> the Ghostbusters. <laughs> damn, yo, he was on that soundtrack, yeah, he was right? That soundtrack. Ah, damn. Damn. Yeah, yo, yo, you silly as shit. <laughs> he looked oh, just man. like that green that they used to. <laughs> oh man, with Slimer. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you though. The Ghostbusters was my shit. Listen, what, yeah, one, that two, and shit. three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my shit. I tried to get a side to watch that. She said, I ain't watching that dash. It looks silly. Oh, man, it I is. Said, what? It was hilarious. Yeah, I, I know. I just didn't like it. how they remade it. You see how we get off subject, though? I'm not even watching it. You know how we get, you see how we get off subject, though? Well, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, because guess what? This is the hood Jesus, man. We can do this, mate. Exactly. Let's <laughs> get it. You know what I mean? But fuck going on out here, yo. They got male birth control now. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I mean, yo, how many <laughs> solutions of medications are they going to come up for males pertaining to sex to try to make things better for the male? Like, this shit is wild, yo. Ain't no way in the world. <laughs> I'm going to pop a fucking birth control pill, yo. You know, how that fucking sound, yo? Wait a minute. Now, you know I'm on the pill. (laughs) You know, I can't drink the night. Because it might less, it might make my chances more of getting you pregnant. Because I'm on the pill. Can't take my antibiotic with my birth control. Come on, yo. Like, what the fuck going on here? We already got the 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 uh fucking man, listen. This shit crazy, yo. I see it got you, bro. They got me fucked up. Yeah, I see. You know, and I'm not even drinking. You know, and like this is crazy, yo. So I mean you mean to tell me if somebody walked up to the corner, made a left. (laughs) <laughs> and then looked over to the right and they see the sign that they on got you fucked up avenue because you ain't you damn well ain't feeling this bell birth control pill shit no fuck that yo wow I wow i can it. feel you on that because you don't actually know what you're swallowing that's what I'm hell saying. we don't know what we're swallowing yeah the side effects could be a uh, hair loss weight gain uh weight loss uh <clears throat> Uh, hair like you get, you get hair on you know areas that you're not yeah. supposed to get so we don't know what we taking why can't y'all take the chance well listen yo. y'all could be the ones hey baby you on the pill but, why can't but, we ask y'all if y'all on the pill <laughs> nigga you on the pill cause I ain't trying to get pregnant <laughs> I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? I feel you on that. It, the the but, roles done switched now. What's wrong with it, that? It sure did. What's wrong with you that? You got a point there. Yeah. But all I'm saying is, you know it's some some damn side effects to it. And I understand you saying, y'all got the side effects. Y'all got to deal with that right. shit too. Then y'all want to talk know? shit about the women. Damn, baby, you done picked up some pounds. Yeah, because I'm, I'm on this pill. <laughs> yeah, nigga, because I'm on this patch. Yeah, nigga, because I'm on this depot. Well, baby, why you got to wear weave? Yeah, nigga, because all the birth controls and snatched out all my damn hair. Damn. You got to get a weave on my eyebrows. <laughs> 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 but I got beard on, I got hair on my chin. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Come I on. mean, you got a point there. Come you know on. what I'm saying? You definitely got a point. Just saying. But I actually seen a, 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 actually a lot of men, they was happy about it online. Yeah. Yeah, on, on social media, they motherfucking applauding that shit. Uh-huh. They're like, where do I sign up and pop the pill? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, niggas try to find any reason why to go raw. Right. That's just going to enforce niggas to go raw even more now. Well, at least we keep a job. Because guess what? They be right at where we our place of business getting uh, STD treatments. Fact. That's fact. It's sad, but it's facts. And I guess I'll have to sign up over to the covenant to become a nun. Damn. Because I'll be damned. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they coming down the pipes with all kind of STDs. They in the lab like Dexter and shit. We're going to create this <laughs> STD and put it out there. They got yeah. some shit called the waffle. Yo, but you know what's crazy about that is motherfuckers is not taking care of themselves. No. Just just having, you know, like 
Reckless sex. sex. Reckless. You know what I'm saying? Reckless. Risky, super risky sex. And what, what, what happens is, is so many people was, you know, uh, getting mm-hmm. STDs and they taking the medication and it's just they didn't got it so much. Right. They've been positive so much with the STDs that now the medication ain't even working no more. Yeah, right. The antibiotic doesn't work. It formed a resistance to, you, to the immune system. Mm-hmm. So that's why you have all these mutations of new STDs that's coming right. out now. Right. And you tell me some shit called the waffle. Yeah, the blue fuck waffles. is a waffle? Listen. Your fucking meat gonna turn into a waffle? It's gonna split open on if you? you see, if you look at the pictures, that's what it look like. Uh, I know that's right. I'm good. I, I know that's see. right. I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I mean, and you know what bothers me too? It's just not the young people out here. It's the old heads in their sixties. Yeah, some of them is worse. And disbelief, my man, Miss, you have an STD, my man. Come on, get this shot in your ass. Yeah, Miss, you know this is crazy. Yeah, and it's it's crazy because you you right what you're saying. The older ones, you you damn, you would think they would know better. Mm. You understand with the younger people, right? Young people, they just like fucking, they wilding, having the time of their life or whatever. But right. the motherfuckers that's in their fifties on up, forty five on up, like, come on, yo, now you, you coming to here constantly for the same thing? Yeah, another positive CD. Yeah, they Try take them. they they taking them shots like they're uh, uh multivitamins. Yeah. <laughs> Liquid, Yo. liquid multivitamins. Yo, I, I just right. go ahead and get my shot next yeah. week. They come in every other week exactly. or every week. It's you, ridiculous. You tell them motherfuckers, uh, yeah, sorry, Mr. Gartner, your um test results came back positive. You are positive for gonorrhea. They just say, okay, where my shot at? Yep, yep. Like I ain't damn. talking about a shot of liquor. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> they act like they gonna get a shot of liquor in their ass. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. That, and that's crazy. Yeah, it's sad. So, um, like, um, who was saying about um, our kids being the future? But we we have to teach them so they can be the future. But I'm scared because shit, I'm still young. Forty is young. Good. Who cannot turn around if I want to ask a question or want to get some information? But the Google machine, Alexa, and who this other motherfucker on these electronics? You can't answer. Walk up to some of these older people out here. Cause they, yeah. they, 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 they c- competition. They competition. They ain't competition. They out of it. So I don't know if you're going to tell me the truth or lie to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that shit is scary. Yeah. All yeah. the way around. Grandma, she out here twerking and competing with the daughter. Yeah. The babies, they out here all fucked up because shit, they trying, they, they growing up faster than they need to. Yeah. You know, you got a four year old taking care of infants. Damn. And then the, then the 10 year old taking care of the four year old and the infant. Yeah, that's facts. And then you got the 16 year old out in the club with the mom and the grandma because she don't look her age. Popping mollies and shit. You know? So it's just crazy out here. Yeah. But, uh. Um, Yeah. Damn, I had to take a breather on that. My my throat was hurting a little bit. I got to sip on this lemon. Yeah, yeah. This good old lemon right here. And I'm going to drink my water and eat my cheese. (laughs) You know what? You just need to stop, though. (laughs) But. You know, you, I gotta let y'all know out there. I'm on a two month fast from alcohol, that is, and um, I just gotta let it be known out there. I've been wilding out here, you know what I'm saying. So certain things, you know, I just need to relax. You know, I gotta yeah. chill. Um, so I'm fasting until we go to ATL. Yes, the Hood Geniuses will be in the ATL Memorial Day weekend. So that's about two months, you know what I mean? Almost. Mm, you know, mm, so mm. I'm fast. Lady T over here silent. She just gripping on me. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I was going to buy him the dollar night tonight at Buffy's, but no, it's okay. No, you I'll wasn't. drink. I'll drink it, you know. No, I'll no, drink fuck it. you wasn't. Fuck out here. You know, it's dollar night. Birdman hair I'm rub. I'm good, yo. I'm good. I'm, I'm, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. definitely fasting. You know. Look, I applaud you because I did it. Remember, I did it. I did it for two months. I gave up beer. You did. I, I mean, yeah, I, it can be done. And then I came yeah. off, and I just been drinking wine. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I mean, but then I did break down and have like some type of mixed drink when I went to Landmark on Saturday because yeah. you know the uh, manager there, you know, he liked me, or whatever. So he was like, "You always in here." And then he sat down and actually have a conversation. And of course, I was telling him on the Hood Jesus podcast. He didn't had no idea about that information. He thought I was like some old little young. Thing. Like, you know, um, I can mm-hmm. be able to take her on the I was breaking that shit down, game of business card, game of sticker. 
I was like, listen, can we have some podcast situations up in here? He started laughing, you know, but I'm, I'm working on that, though. Yeah, but he introduced me to, like, some drink or whatever. He didn't know the name of it. So I said, you just went back in the bar and just made some shit up? I said, I'm going to give you a name for it. How about it's probably called Uber? Because I probably did the damn Uber after I drank this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So That shit was strong like that? Missing. But you know I got high tolerance, yeah. so I drunk it, drunk some he knew water. What he was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it ain't work on yeah, Lady T. Yeah, but it ain't work on Lady T. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I have a high tolerance. I used to drink 151. So once you break in that with the 151, on your chest, yeah. listen. That's why every time I shave, I break my razors. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <you> know. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't went to the age. Everybody can't get this hair on my chest. But listen, we gonna get into. What I've been deeply wanting to talk about, and it's very serious and it's very touching, and I know it can touch touch home. And if you don't know about it, we always tell you to hit that Google machine. Mm. Okay, so back in March, right, your man was gunned down in his grandma's backyard, right? So I don't know if everybody watched the footage. Once again, you need to go and watch that footage of how this young man, 22 years old, that had two little kids, has been taken away from his kids. Because supposedly his cell phone was mistaken as a gun in the dark. And looking at the footage, it was black as hell out there. It was black as hell out there. So how could you have seen anything? I think that was poorly taken care of. And I know for a fact those cops are going to pay for what they did. Because there's no way in hell they're going to get away with this one. And this all happened in Sacramento, California. And I mean... If you know about it and you didn't cry, it, it there's definitely got to be something wrong with you. Men, women, kids. I mean, because it's just, it's getting worse. And then the situation with the um the, the Alton man that was, Alton Sterling or whatever, mm-hmm. the cops mm-hmm. got off from him. It's like, when is enough is enough? You know what I'm saying? But to talk about his situation or whatever, Stephen Curry. I love Stephen Curry, man. Like, he is the best. He was um, being interviewed or whatever, and he pretty much. Um, well, also too, I, I hope he um, has a fast rec- uh, recovery from him um, injuring his MCL yeah. or whatever. Um, so he's Real. actually on the sideline, yeah. So I hope he has a fast recovery, you know, so he can play or whatever. But he actually um, was speaking out about that situation with the young man being gunned down in his grandma's yard, unarmed, and was his damn cell phone. Um, he was pretty much saying that um, the athletes can bring about change. And the reason why I was so high strung on that is because we always talk about how when you're in certain positions, you have that platform and you can talk about it and you can, like, you know, encourage others, influence others to say, you know what, let's take a stand. We don't have to go for this yeah. because we employ them. And without us employ them, they won't be on that platform. They won't have that stance to speak and be, you know, rich how they are. So, um, it was uh, was the Kings and the Boston Celtics that wore black T-shirts that read accountability. And mm-hmm. it said also, we are one on the front and on the back had hashtag Stephen, um, Stephen Clark on the back. You know, so it's like if our, if our um, celebrities continue to make a stance like this and speak on speak out on stuff like this, I think it, it can change. But also, too, Ms. Wanda, you was talking about how a lawyer... Was talking about how the laws have to change as well, pertaining to the cops. You know, basically like the the way that um if they feel like they are um what it what was it what you were saying? Because we were just briefly talking about it before we actually got on here. Yeah, I'm I'm looking up her name now. Basically, is African American female attorney that I was listening to the Breakfast Club, and she was recently on there, and she was talking about. They're the justice getting justice for these killings is not gonna it's just it's just not gonna happen until we change legislation. Mm-hmm. We gotta fight for the change of the wording of these laws. And she was breaking it down. And when you get a chance, just check check out that. Uh, hold up, let me look it up though. Uh, I want to get her name before I finish. But you look it up. The latest um, Breakfast Club interview. I think her name was Jovi Brown or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm going to look it up before we finish. But, yeah, she was basically stating that we have to change the wording and the laws before we can um, expect some type of real justice being said. Basically, 
far as the word and what she was meaning is these cops out here it's all based on they're protected they're protected by the laws but and, we're not protected and, and it's all based on their discretion out here dealing with criminals or any criminal activity mm-hmm. and how the law how the laws are worded it's like open ended basically <coughs> it's protecting them so when it when it comes to the the, the court of law in the court system this these cases is getting dropped because they strictly going off what the the law of the land says instead of basing it off the facts, the mm-hmm. videos, and everything, and that's even still crazy because you you have jewelry, people of the jewelry, which is supposed mm. to be people of this country who's supposed to have some damn heart, right? To see a man get killed on, you know what I'm saying, on mm-hmm. video and all that. Mm-hmm. We're like, how can you actually help in you know saying giving that a not guilty verdict? You know what right. I'm saying, right? Cause you know when you go on them trial shit, you seeing that shit over and over, you seeing the pictures, all that shit. Right. So it's like it's 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 really sad. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, all the marching in the world is just not gonna stop it. And I don't wanna actually speak out on how it would be able to get stopped. Cause I don't want nobody knocking on my damn door. But we all know how it actually can stop. And you know, we can't be out here passing out flyers of these groups and stuff like that either. You gotta move in silence. If you understand what I mean, because yeah. everybody not meant to be on your team, seriously. And I talk about that all the time because loyalty, people don't even know about loyalty no more, and that goes for anything. You know what? I got her name. I'm sorry, I messed her name all up. Her name is Ebony K. Williams. She is an attorney and a TV host. But here's the kicker to it. I forgot to tell you this part. Mm-hmm. She is a she's a host on one of the Fox News networks. So, on the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne said, "Well, I know you're getting several debates because you you for the people." He said, "I I see you out there. You for the people, mm-hmm, whatever." Mm-hmm. He said, "I know they must don't like you over there, Fox." She, she said, "Yeah, some of them don't." She, he said, "Yo, do they invite you out mm-hmm. after work?" She said, "Some of them." Mm-hmm. He said, "But she said, but you need people like me to be intertwined with that to mm-hmm. speak up for us, right?" And you need people on the police force mm-hmm. that'll be right there within and can shit sometimes might be able to come back to us people report to tell you what's going on. <coughs> exactly. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But really be part of it, but really not, if you mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying. <laughs> it just you know? bothers me that every time I turn on Box 29, they got to be in like the most hardest part of Philly or like the hardest part of West. Or like the hardest part of the South. And they're just always touching on black people. Mm-hmm. We're not the only ones in Philadelphia. Because <laughs> Philadelphia is large. You get people West Philadelphia, North Philadelphia, South Philadelphia. Yeah. Why are you not up in Northeast? Or like, you know, like actually where... Nah, they they don't, don't even bring different people of color on the, on the news. Not unless it's a festival going on. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? When it's something... Looked in a negative light. Right. It's more so tied to African Americans or people of color. You know what I'm saying? Something uh, negative. And if it's something you know positive, I mean? it'd be like an auction. Uh, give me twenty, thirty, whatever, whatever. whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, we all took commercial. Yep. That's it. It's yep. like an auction. Yeah. Uh, give me twenty, give me thirty before me. Okay, all right, that's it. All right, then all took commercial. Yeah. But anything negative, they spend hours. I mean, they out there drinking water. They camping out. Yeah. They damn miss sleeping over. Talk yeah. about everything negative, but if it's something positive, it's like a damn auction. That's fact. Get crazy. Yeah. You want to touch on something now? Um. Also, too, back to um Curry, my man Curry. He just pretty much like helping out with the community. I just want to say like I applaud him for like kind of really stepping up and speaking out because that takes a lot. Because they can lose endorsement, they can lose a lot behind that. But I'm saying yeah. like yeah, already at a point where but like what you gonna do exactly what you gonna That's do? Curry. Yeah. Go to State Wars. Very much. What they gonna do without him? Exactly. I mean, I know they got the Durant, but he's the nucleus. Yeah. Curry. Mm-hmm. He the one that got them championships. Right. No, don't get this wrong. 
This is a sport. It's a team effort, no doubt. But mm-hmm. Curry is the star. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, but yeah, he's stepping up. <clears throat> you mm-hmm. know, he, he's he's in with Diddy too. Yeah. They're really serious about making moves, buying the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. Yeah. He's he stepped in. He's from um, North Carolina. Right. 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 So he he all in. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, listen. Your things are slowly, you yeah. know. You, Uniting and people slowly waking up and all that. You know, yeah. and, and I gotta say this, yo. I hate to stay woke bullshit. I hate that woke shit because <laughs> listen, you, if you blessed to open your eyes every day, you woke. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is this like life ain't that ain't ain't that fucking deep? Right. If God blesses you every day, to however old you are. Why the fuck do I got to say, I'm woke, nigga. I'm woke. No, no, no. Motherfuckers, yeah, your eyes are woke, but you blind. Right. You, you, could, be, you could be woke or breathing a snap, but you still walking the walls. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still have the same ability as everybody else to, to research stuff, to, to look things up, to read. You know what you know I what call them? You know what I call them when they when they and they when they're like that? I call them zombies. Facts. Because a zombie is what you know they want to eat somebody's brain. They dead alive. They dead alive. They need to eat somebody's brain mm-hmm. just to stay walking. And that's what that's what motherfuckers out here with that woke thing is. That's what that's what they are to me. Yeah. They need to eat somebody's brain. You know that's alive to think that they think they they gonna come back alive, but you still dead, yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need to take those mental chains off your head. Become open to information. And not just be acceptable to the you know, the oppressor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, it is what it is. But that's how I pretty much want to touch on whatever like that. I did want to okay. go off and just talk about some things that has been bothering me personally mm-hmm. with some women. Um, that um, I don't think... I'm not going to knock and, and look... And shun upon the women that do this, that think it's okay to know if somebody has a man, mm-hmm. and 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 they take the role of being the side chick, like they filled out a fucking application. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's um, that part time dick we was talking about. Right, right, yeah. right. But my thing is this: all part-time right, part time penis. Right, part time penis. So, all right, so now you don't took this role as known as there's another woman. And um, I don't know if you got in your head, like, you know, you think, like, you, like you're you going to step in that first place. Like, this is a race or something like that. You're going to come out of second place and go in the first place. Like, I need to be schooled on this because it's like, I've heard it coming up. Like, you know, oh, you know, women messing with other people, men. But the shit has really got serious nowadays. Really got serious to where it's, though, it's like, you allow somebody to mentally drain you, take away your joy, and just pretty much age you and, and just mess you up. And I, I just got a problem with that. It's like to each his own. If that's what that's what you that's what you damn for, that's what it is what it is. But damn, what is enough enough? And then you like, you know what? He's my man, and I can't talk to nobody else. I can't see nobody else. But he has a woman. You as a side chick, and guess how many other side chicks he got? You're not the only side chick. I just got a problem with that. Like, what the fuck is going on? That shit like an illness, yo. It is. You know what I'm saying? You don't love yourself? Like, what the fuck? You don't love yourself? It's like a part-time penis illness. My (laughs) thing is, (laughs) you know what I mean? My thing is this, yo. You definitely don't love yourself. No. To to, to not see yourself as number one. Yeah. To actually psychologically know this dude got a wife. He got... Three other side chicks or so. I'm just throwing that out there. And you actually included in one of them. And you, you're you okay with that. You literally won't go seek and find another man. You're like, you won't go get your own damn man. Right. Like, it's really an issue on that. Right. You got a fucking problem. You yeah. can't go get your own man. I mean, motherfuckers come at you, want to date you to snap, but you too worried about your part-time penis. Right. Right. Like, come on, yo. He don't respect you, and he know you don't even love your own self. It's like, it's like, it's like the pimp shit. Mm-hmm. You know? It's yeah, the pimp that's what the it pimp is. Of the mind. That's what it is. 
And the reason why I bring it up is because I might be in the wrong line of business. You know, ladies, you always got to bring a little humor out of this shit. I was serious for a minute about it because it was bothering me. But listen, they got if, if, if that's the pimp shit going on, let me be a man. Because that, if that's what's going down nowadays, I'm in the wrong line of business. But you know what? I respect women. I respect myself, number one. I couldn't even mm-hmm. go to sleep and I got a conscience. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm joking around about this or whatever as far as being a man. But it's like, come on now. It's not that deep out here. I don't want to hear that bullshit about us. Not a lot of men out here. It's more women than men. I don't want to hear that. Either. Come on now. Like, seriously, you can meet some real nice young men out here that don't have nobody that's looking for somebody. That's facts. That's fact. And you know what? You know, with me being a single dude and being out here, which is nutty out here, the, the, the single life is nutty and corny. But what I have noticed, a lot of women, I see it in person and I see it online. They got all this talk. Oh, niggas ain't shit. Oh, man. A nigga got to be like this. A nigga, nigga got to have this kind of money. He got to dress this kind of way. He got to have this size penis. First of all, <laughs> that shit is all bullshit, yo. It's bullshit. I met all kinds of women. Mm. Oh, he got to be a certain height. First of all, listen, I'm five motherfucking six, yo. <laughs> and I, I'm full of fucking confidence. I ain't no ugly dude, no homo or none of that. But I'm full of confidence. I'm intelligent. I could talk to a fucking bum to a millionaire. Yeah, I'm I'm cocky right now. But I'm, I'm talking some real shit. When I get out here talking to these women and all kinds of women, they full of shit, yo. You be talking all that shit like... I I can I know from the first sentence whether I'ma even deal with this chick or even delete their number or even go any further from the first couple of sentences. It's mm-hmm. a wrap. Mm-hmm. A lot of these chicks they ain't really want nothing out here. Nope. They fucking following this reality TV bullshit, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then they stuck on fucking social media. They stuck on that shit. They got one personality on social media, living through that bullshit. Yeah. And then got a whole nother personality when they go to work. Whole nother personality when they go to the bar. You don't fucking know yourself. Take the time to learn and love yourself first. Be in a relationship with your fucking (laughs) self Mm -hmm. before you can say, oh, I love Tim. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, yo. Damn, yeah, true fact. And also, too, like, you know, I said I was going to talk about some stuff that's been bothering. This has been current. What's up with men? Them and inboxing women their penis and then saying, Well, I just want you to see what I'm working with. But how about this? How about I'm gonna block you, mm-hmm. and if I see you, I'm gonna kick you in your penis. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's that's corny because my thing is leave some shit to the imagination. Let me be excited about it because just because you think you're a nice size, it don't mean you know how to fucking work it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That you know, don't mean is, nothing. And now that's not even attractive. Like, Cause that means that you can be duplicating and DMing all, a bunch of other women the same thing. Exactly. Now, when you come across that kind of shit, when a man does that, he basically letting you know what he only dealt with. Right. He only been dealing with girls, right. not women. Little girls. And you can have women that's 50 years old that's still a girl. Right. In my opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so definitely, like, it's a lot of immature women out here, so the age is definitely just a number. Mm -hmm. But them dudes that's doing that, they suckers, yo. You know what I mean? Because that's all they doing. They sending the same pic to every female. But here's the thing. That's how you feel about it, Lady T. You do have a group of women out here that's on some horror shit that's like, yo, okay, they flipped that into, oh, that's what he's showing me. And, and I'm going to tell you something. The average woman, because, you know, I done worked in the medical field all these years, talking to all kinds of women. They tell how they truly feel about this shit. Mm-hmm. They don't even like that shit. Mm-hmm. Most, the average woman don't even like to see that shit. They like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Most women don't even want to see that shit. Yeah. But then you got some, you know, some women, they flip that shit and, and run the game on the dude. Like, okay. They see he, oh, he think he... Charm is that so they flip it and run game on him. Like, I'm gonna just let this nigga think he rocking my world. Mm. I'm gonna take, oh, this is what he got. I'm gonna take him. He gonna pay this bill. He gonna, you know what I mean? Some women flipping on that. But 
is it really worth it? No. Mm-mm. It's not worth it. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh, he getting the bust your ass. He happy about that. And you just happy that you got your bill, your bills paid, your stomach filled, and your bills paid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your what stomach. I'm saying, your stomach filled, he got he getting you a meal. Okay. Getting your meal, bills paid, and he getting he happy because he smashed. Okay. That's all that's going on. So let me just let me just touch on this a little bit. Like these guys out here, right? Men, they call themselves men, be happy when they touch, score, sleeping with a woman, right? <clears throat> grow the fuck up. Seriously, grow the fuck up. That means you have never, you probably was, uh, you probably didn't get that much attention when you was younger or something. That you got to be like, yo, man, I, 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 I slept with her. I slept with that nobody. I slept with her. But you know how, like, some men be like, you can't um, wife a hoe? A lot of women don't like men that done touched a lot of people either. Yeah. You think true. a woman want to walk down the street with somebody that he done fuck to have the community? That means by the time you hit a certain age, baby, you're going to have to get that shit, you know, dissected, cut off, and it's yeah. going to be a trophy. Yeah. Then what you going to walk down the street with your penis and, and, glazed and, most, and women, most women thinking, like, how many diseases this motherfucker Exactly. Had, or how many kids he really got. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's not impressive. Like, a real man, a real man... Don't have to sleep with a fucking community of a women to prove that he's a man. Because my thing is this, what are you really running away from when you got to do all that? Yeah. To each his own. I don't knock, but damn, like, give yourself a break. Yeah. Because the same way you busting off, you 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 carrying back secretions too. That's facts. You touching all them souls, you off up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because now a man can, oh, when, you, when you lay down with a woman... Right, we are so powerful. First of all, you going inside of you, you plugging your socket into a hole, right? You can come up with all kind of shit if that woman not right. Because we are the, we are the, you know, we hold it down. We your backbone. Mm-hmm. So you plugging that socket into that backbone and shit ain't right. You gonna get up? You all messed up. Cause honestly, there's some psychotic women out here. You know what I'm saying? You probably was cool, Jeff. You know what I'm saying? One week, you done laid down with a psycho. Now you got eight motherfuckers talking to you. Because you done laid down with a psycho your damn self. So you done plug that, you know, core into that socket. And then you done got all kind of electricity. <laughs> you all messed up. Yeah. You know? People and, be thinking and, like and that. And what you're saying is that energy. That energy is crazy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You even get some negative energy pulled back. Or, or you positive. get something positive out of it. Yeah. You know? But, but um... Yeah, you move on. Yeah. Yeah. So, DMX, he, he got one year jail time for tax invasion. Yeah, man. Damn, yo. He, they can't, was, he can't catch just a break. Saying, last year, he was getting his, you know, he had him in the studio. Right. And that, prepping for an album. I'm sure they got some songs already ready, but mm-hmm. he was prepping for this album supposed to come out this year. He, he doing mad tours. Mm-hmm. The payback, you know, all the money he owed. They said he owed like two something million or something like that. I'm going to tell you like this, right? DMX is very outspoken. We have seen him when he have sat down on that talk show and talked to... Listen, Sober. Listen, okay? When you like that and that in Hollywood and shit like that, they got to find some way to shut you fuck up. Yeah. You got to think with um, Cat Williams. Yeah. They wanted us thinking that he was crazy as hell, but that man was telling some truth. Yeah, and they you know made what I'm saying? Him, they made him shut up for a few years. And yeah, he's back now. Yeah, he's back now. Yeah. And he gonna he gonna come at it again, and they gotta <laughs> shut his ass up in. <laughs> you know, so yeah. that's what they doing with DMX. Cause DMX is outspoken, and I will never forget that part in Belly. Well, remember he was supposed to kill the minister, mm-hmm. but the minister was talking to him. That reminded me of what happened with um, Malcolm X. Oh man, I, I mean, I just my mind be going, yeah. man. My mind be racing. So yeah. that's a damn shame, man. But DMX, you know, when you come out whatever like that, and you go on tour, come back to Philly, baby, because you know Philly love you. Yeah. Seriously, we gonna yeah. always support Definitely. you. We don't Definitely. shun you. Like it's gonna be mad love. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I missed that, John. Yo, I missed that extra. You know, when I was I horse for like know. a week from that. Damn, I was horse. <laughs> yeah. So let me talk about some meat mill fucking news. Um, I was so hoping with, you ain't want to talk about it. This shit is no, so no, depressing. Gotta, gotta talk about it, you know. Um, so it's a little positive in it, 
But it's, then it's like some real, it's kind of fucked up. What? Denial bell, boom. Okay. Next. No, the part where, I mean, this is fucked up, but he got a fucked up judge. And I, I said in the beginning, I said Meek Mill is going up against a judge. It don't matter if that judge is black or white. It's the system. Mm-hmm. The system don't like black people. Fuck right. It. right. It is what it is. Right. And he's a successful black young male <clears throat> mm-hmm. that's get any chance he get, he shits hard on the system, mm-hmm. talking about it in interviews and songs. Right. So you best believe they look at it like, okay, when he gets in some trouble, we're going to stick his ass. Right. So basically, I want to say the governor, Tom Wolf, he said he supports the release of Meek Mill, the mm-hmm. governor of Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. He said, I support the DA, Larry Krashner's position in the case of Meek Mill. He said, our criminal justice system is in need of repair. That's why my administration has made efforts to invest in programs that divert individuals from the system, improve public safety, and promote fairness. With all that said by the governor, mm-hmm. his bail was denied the other day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I said it's a positive, then it's not. Because yeah. it's like the governor don't even have enough power. To me, man, to listen, all I'm saying is it's, that shit is is I'm just hoping this that shit me, is crazy, man. I'm saying he gonna at least do two years. They gave him yeah. two before. He's they gonna make him sit them two yeah, years. Yeah, he gonna he gonna do about. I two just years. hope he do some fucking reading in there and come by come back out vicious. I hope he do some fasting, like cutting off motherfuckers. That Seriously, too. his circle need to get smaller. Fuck all that. You think you owe somebody something like that? Yeah. Because it was you sweating, busting your ass. Not the motherfuckers you think you owe something to. And if people get out of that mindset, they'd be cool too. Because it'd be the main motherfuckers that'll bring you down. That don't give a fuck. They just want to ride your coattail like a leech. Fuck out of here. Now I got my voice back for that one. That was a nothing but goal. Oh. Because I really want to express myself on that because I have a problem with people, fake motherfuckers, sticking around for the ride. You're going to have to start opening up the door and kicking motherfuckers out on the highway. Yep. Yep. I agree. Keep it moving. Seriously. That's the only way he's going to be successful. I mean, look at Jay. Jay was cutting. (laughs) He was cutting motherfuckers all left and right. Yeah, he had to. No shame in his game. He had to. No shame in his game. Listen, y'all motherfuckers don't keep getting in trouble. And then, like, because I'm tired of you, or oh, that's Meek Mill squad, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. that, that's he a part of that, too. Nah. No, you're going to start clipping motherfuckers. Yeah. It's Seriously. So, it's sad to say, so many of Philly artists, whether it's artists or celebrity people, they let the hood just overtake their career. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So many of them. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, man. But on to the next. Right. We got to say rest in peace to Craig Mack. Mm-hmm. You know, this Our happened college. last year. Yeah. I mean, uh, last month. You know, we didn't get a chance to um, touch on uh, right. rest in peace to Craig Mack. But I also want to touch on uh, producer slash DJ, DJ Scratch. I got to read what he said on his IG. He said, I've never been to a service for someone famous, and I was the only famous person to show up. Very weird day today, but what puts a smile on my face is that little bro was at peace before he passed. That's what matters to me. Rest in peace, Craig, Matt. Yep, that's from DJ Scratch, legendary producer, made made a few hits, not a few, he behind a lot of hits. So, um, yeah, shout out to um, Craig Mack and his peoples. So let me get this straight. Let me get this, let me get this good and damn straight here. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, you, yeah. Or next. Yeah. Next. You, yeah. Because yeah. I swear, vicious. like, I will open up a Pandora box. I ain't even going to go there. Yeah. Next. I yeah, can't write down. That's vicious. That's vicious. Not even at the funeral. That's vicious. You know what oh. I'm saying? Um, I wanted to touch on um some ratchet shit that I came across, and I'm just like, you know, when I, cause you know we all know about the, the uh, what's her name, China, mm-hmm. and the sex tape bullshit. Right, right, right. All right, right. So I came across Amber Rose, which you know that's her homie, China, right? Um, let me, let me, let me, let me. I actually want 
the listeners hear what Amber Rose actually said. Uh, let me click on this. This on the record, okay? If you think Black China don't know how to suck a dick, you got her <laughs> all the way fucked up. Oh God! Jesus. All the way messed up. I'm and I'm gonna tell y'all. Off. I'm, I'm, can I take my pants off? Hold on, hold on. Say it slow. Dim the lights down. Oh Turn God. the light down. Now. The say, the music say, yeah. take, now say what you're going to say. Okay, all I'm saying is... Because we saw the video. Okay, but listen, let me tell you something. Sometimes, you know, you got a motherfucker sitting on your chest. And you, you know... Angle, okay, but angle. Sometimes, but sometimes, you know, when you give oral, you know, sometimes it's a cute little... You know, nothing, nothing OD. And sometimes you OD on it, right? Don't ever for a second think that my bestie, my sister, Black China, can't suck it. I'm sorry. You, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna... That's it, yo. You got her taking up for a friend. Not not saying, yo, listen, I'm not going to talk about that. That's my home girl. That's her business. Not taking up on that kind of shit. But you actually going to make it even more ratchet. To brag about you know for a fact that your best friend got good oral skills, sucking phallus. She like how would you know? You I guess they did it together. No, no, they, they, when they went to go, they filled out the application together. <laughs> what application? <laughs> What's that application? On how to be the wretched motherfucker in Hollywood, because there's no way in the world that. You know what? First of all, she has a son, right? This is the shit I'm talking about. Yeah. She has a son. Like, China has a what? Because I, you, you know what? Well, she got a daughter, son. Yeah. I don't know. But to me, that, first of all, that's going to always be there, right? That interview, right? Yeah. That's all. But Instagram. Black China is that going to surface back local. around. Their kids is going to be, they're going to become Soon. young adults. Soon. Right? Yeah. People talk. People are harsh. Like, yo, look at your mom. Yo, listen to your mom. You know what I'm saying? First argument, they want to come at you. They going to hate their moms. Listen, that's all I'm Real saying. Talk. That's what they I'm gonna saying. They going to grow up hating their moms. That's what I'm saying. Because they're going to be embarrassed. I don't give a fuck how rich they are. They still going to be in school with other students right. or friends that's come up to you on the block. That's and right. be like, yo, look, I found your mom on the internet. Oh, I seen her sex tape. Yo, your mom got a fat ass. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Pretty much. You're going to get picked on. Pretty you much. can't fight everybody. And you know what's a shame, too? Is that kids can't be kids no more. Like I, I said in previous other um, po- um episodes that coming up, I was not allowed to be in a room with my mom and her friends. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, kids is involved with conversation with adults. So that's why they know so much. That's why they so advanced. Mm-hmm. Let kids be kids, man. Send a ass off, you know, in a separate room. When you have an adult conversations, don't include them. They four, five, six years old hearing all kind of crazy shit like that. That's not, come on, that's that's bad parenting skills. Nobody gets a book on it, but it's common fucking sense. Yeah. And you definitely don't get a book on that. You can't even go to school and take up a course in that common sense. That shit you born with it. Everybody's born with it, but it's like as you go through life, a lot of motherfuckers lose it. I don't know if you get it because you fall in the steps. You have accidents, you just fall and chip bump your head. I don't know how the fuck you lose it, but it's like a lot of people don't lost common sense, man. Seriously. Yeah, because they 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 lose people lose themselves uh, because they don't they they it's sad, but they don't um they don't they don't grow. They don't mentally grow. They don't have no and morals, they, no they respect. Yeah, that too. They don't they don't try to find out about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Is is it's, it's fucked up out here, yo. Humans is really horrible. They done lost there, it, yo. man. They done lost For it. Real. Seriously. Well, let's let's go move on something else because you're gonna get me. Yeah. He, I'm heated about yeah. that. That's now I gotta ask you this. Um, Cardi B, she released her new single, Be Careful. For her album that's coming out soon. Right. Did you hear it? I didn't hear it, but mm-hmm. I heard that um she had to actually let people know it was not about her and offset or whatever like that. Oh okay. you know, because yeah. people was like, damn, you deserve better, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you know, I mean it is what it is. Yeah. But I heard the song. Mm-hmm. I forget that forget what she was talking about in the song. I'm I'm a music guy. I was just listening to Sonic Lee and how she rapped on it. Right. And um it's for the album. It's for the album. It's an album song. It's 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 you know it's it's not the single, and to get technical with it, 
if you promoting for an album, you shouldn't have her come out with her with a slowed down style. Because that wasn't how what blew her up. Right. You should put the hype song that she has for the album out first. Right. And then you can come. Once that hype song, that single club pop and drum, once mm-hmm. once you get them with that, then you be like, all right, damn, switch up the style on them. Mm-hmm. Bring this one out. You feel me? I got you. Because oh, she's telling a story. She, it's kind of heartfelt. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's kind of, not for the album. Not that, you don't release that as the first. Right. For an album you're trying to promote. Right. Because you're going to turn, turn fans off a little bit like, damn, what the fuck? I don't know if this album's going to be right. Right. So, I, mean, I think they're going to release another one soon. They might. And yeah, you know, but honestly, they people love Cardi B so much because, like, she be, she's another one that be speaking. She be spitting that truth, man. Like, she, you know, because I, I follow her now. Because I was like, you know what? Ah, but I follow her. And she be, she's not as dumb as a lot of people think, man. You got to stop judging people, you know what I'm saying, off a couple of things you may see here or because of what somebody else said. Do your own research. You know what I'm saying? She really be standing behind and standing up for a lot of shit that's not right. And that's the type of people you need, you know, in that industry, you know, that has that platform. Because people are actually going to listen and, you know, pay attention. So. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they're going to, her fans going to be turned off. It's just, you know, something different. No, they got to come with us. Yeah, that, that, definitely. It ain't really popping. Okay. Um, so this is, this was a good story. We should ask to go check this John out too. It's in Brooklyn. Um, this young woman named she's 21 years old. Her name Francisca Cheney. She has her own vegan oh, yeah. cafe. Yeah, yeah. Just soy free, plant based mm-hmm. cafe, and um, it's in the Brooklyn area, um, up there in the Williamsburg area. Mm-hmm. So it's called Soul Sips. You can Google the name, mm-hmm. follow on Twitter and Instagram. Soul <laughs> Sips, 21-year-old, black-owned, Francis- Franciscia Cheney. You know what I'm saying? That's, I thought that was dope. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to get into this fab. I was going. I was waiting for you to talk about Ike, Ike Jr. <laughs> it's I'm Ike saying. Jr. right there. Fabulous <laughs> is allegedly getting up. They're saying he's about, he's facing up to three to five years for domestic abuse. Uh, is it his wife? It's not his wife. This is pretty much just his baby mom slash girlfriend, whatever, uh, for putting hands on her. She's allegedly saying that he punched out her two front teeth. Um, she didn't release the pictures yet, but it is it is uh, court documents on it. Mm-hmm. And you know those pictures going to come soon, I think. Um, but the, you know, the listen, I don't condone no man putting his hands on a woman, right? But I'm gonna say this: all in all, this is actually their business on some real shit. It's their business. I don't, I'm not condoning this man's actions because I, I know the video was released by TMZ where he was cussing out her father, saying he had a bullet, you know, with his name on it. You know, and here's the thing. She was actually agitating him, too, by videotaping him. Kept trying to pull her phone out, videotaping him. So, he, that's making him even more angry at that state. Number one, we don't know what the fuck made him get like that. We don't know. I'm not saying it don't matter what she did. You don't have to put your hands on her. Yeah, not knocking out teeth. That's vicious. Cause <laughs> that means you you doing uppercuts and shit like that. Like you Mike Tyson. Listen. Which is Five. I just want to say this. First of all, the first blow, I would have been the fuck out. I want to stand there and let you beat my ass and knock my teeth out. No, yo. That's that's foul. Like, how you... Listen, I, Fabulous ain't... That is Ike. Fabulous Ike. I, 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 <laughs> fabulous Ike. Ike. Yo, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to ask you, you this, You're going to sing the song like I told you to sing it. God damn. <laughs> you knocking I'm out my I'm going to ask you this, lady. <laughs> We still listen to fabulous music. I mean, I still listen to R. Kelly. That nigga was pissing on people. You just answered my question. Uh, that, uh, look, like this is my whole thing. It is thing what is, it is. You know, I seen quite a few people on social media saying, oh, "I'm not listening to Fat no more. I'm not a fan no more." 
But people, we actually have to separate the art from the individual. You don't have to agree with him beating bitches' asses out here. But Fab do make dope music. You listen, know what I'm saying? He makes. I dope can go music. even back further. I was I still listen to Michael MJ, Michael Jackson. He was supposed to have been touching little boys and kids and fucking monkeys. I don't yep. know, but I still listen to Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, that's facts. We don't know. It's always three sides of a story. Her side, his side, the truth. And guess what? I ain't no fucking investigator. I ain't no private eye. You know what yep. I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You know, it just seems like to me, it's just a, it's a war, it's an attack on the black man. Shit is getting worse. Yeah, and it me seems too. like you know, yeah. this shit is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's real crazy. You know what I mean? But they trying to shut down the real warriors and pull up fucking allegations against them. They trying to kill Bill Cosby. That motherfucker don't remember the last time he had some pussy from these chicks that's coming out of the networks. You know, these niggas is coming out of rocks. He fuck me. You got frogs and crickets and shit. Oh, they, they getting everybody. You know, you know so that? come but on with that. I will say, this is definitely the worst kind of news for Fabulous to have in this era right yes. now. It's the worst kind of news yeah, you can seriously, have. Seriously, that's you know, worse they, than a they rape. They throwing the, 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 the white boy, or Weinstein, they throwing him out of here, Russell Simmons out of here. They getting all of them out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That Me Too shit ain't playing. No. You know what I mean? They Them motherfuckers got power, yo. But um, I, 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 what I want to say is, like, you know, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't condone that shit, but, man, it is what it is, yo. You know what I'm saying? Cause this shit is sad, she, man. She, she going to move, probably be right back with him when all this shit is over. You know what I mean? I mean, what? Unless she she gonna have what she gonna have some snack of teeth and shit. She gonna get some implants or something. Like, what's going on in America? Like, come on, she get back with him. I won't be surprised. Listen, I, I never understood that how Nigga. how a woman can get her ass beat, eye hanging out her socket, and still want to lay down with a man. Wrong. They're not mentally strong, yo. They're not mentally strong. My you know my, I mean? my vagina be dry as a desert. I wouldn't even be able to. <laughs> ain't no wild wild thoughts out this motherfucker, Rihanna. I'm wet, nigga. You gonna have to get a bottle of water and squirt up me, cause I can't get wet. I'm scared to leave your ass this yeah. and that, but it will be a cactus. You stick it in me, you getting stuck up, cause that's what it be Damn. a dry desert land cactus out this motherfucker. You ain't getting no. You better go stick your shit in a hot apple pie. Damn, I know that's right. But um, I want to mention this. You know, I always talk about the Netflix shit. Netflix, um, they got a, a documentary, John, mm-hmm. um, by um, yeah, the next it's called Rapture, and it was um, produced by Mass Appeal Records, which is Ashley Nas's record label. Mm-hmm. And Ashley was dope about the um, documentary that it's eight rappers and one producer. And what they do is each episode, because mm-hmm. it's like eight episodes, <clears throat> mm-hmm. it's like a mini documentary. And it shows, um, it follows them and, you know, talks about their life and the reason why they do it. It's pretty dope. And of course, I watched the first one I watched. Is with Nas, right? You know what I'm saying. I had to, and um, he, but he shared his episode with his 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 artist. His artist is named Dave East. He's from Harlem, right? Um, mm-hmm. and is that's the only episode I watched so far. Very nice looking Dave East. <laughs> so you're familiar with? <laughs> yeah, Davies. of course I am. Of course, you know, I and am. It, and it just was you know good to see that, and it showed how Nas was saying he's seen a lot of himself in Dave East, mm-hmm. and he's pushing him and. They working hard on doing things. I found a lot of stuff out about Dave East that I didn't know on there. And he's he's definitely a dope artist. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's nice up and coming. I like how he's very into his daughter. Like Oh, yeah. Every, and it shows on there. He yeah. got his father and his mom on there. They talking about him. How he changed his life around and all yeah, that. Yeah, you could tell. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So it's really it's really good. Um, the rappers is on there. The other rappers are Logic. T.I., g Easy, 2 Chains, female um, rapper, Rhapsody, which she's dope, and the producer, Just Blaze, and they got the, um, I hate this young boy name, but his name, A Boogie with the Hoodie. That's the young boy in New York. He's supposed to be popping. Um, I haven't got into his music, but 
a boogie with the hoodie. I, I swear he got had one of those. So he got a, he got a boogie in. with a hoodie on. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's know, but he's supposed to be popping in New York as far as his music and okay, everything. Cool. And it's funny because um, Asaya Mom was telling me that the Asaya tell you she likes a boogie with the hoodie. She said, "I don't know, I don't know who the hell that is. Do you know who he is?" <laughs> You know, yeah. we both laughed about that. Yeah, but. these names are interesting. These young people coming out with it's cute. Like we all had our era. It's their time. True, like true, it is what it is. True. But while we're on the net, talking about Netflix, did you get a chance to check out that Roxanne? I did. Roxanne. How did you feel about John, it? How did yo. you feel about it? I feel as though they left out a lot. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> it was kind of rushed to me. It should. It should be like um a, like a mini series, like a one part one, two or you know. Yep. It was just I too agree. rushed. Too it was rushed. Too rushed. Yeah, but yeah. from what I seen, I, I liked it. It was okay. Mm-hmm. You know, could have been better. Mm-hmm. I'm just feeling the whole thing about Netflix, yo. They 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 fucking with our culture. Yeah, they? they are. You know, all the comedians that they, you know, I mean, they have to because guess what? They want to stay paid because yeah, we cause are the we, ones. We bought we 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 go in our pockets for entertainment. Yeah. We you do. know what I mean? So they yeah. know that. Yeah, you know, they, they know do the demographics. They know all that shit. They know. That's right. They study that's, us. And that, they study our that, spending habits. And, that, and with that being said, who holds the power for real, for real? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um. So now that we're on, you know, we talk about Netflix or like that, I just want to say, for those who have not went to go check out Taraj movie, uh, Acrimony, listen. I know you're not a huge I'm fan <laughs> of Tyler Perry. I know you're not. Yeah, I'm But good. when I tell you that I had another man say he wasn't a huge fan of Tyler Perry either. Mm-hmm. But he said that movie right there, Tyler Perry put his thing down on that. He said he put his thing down on that. And I and I just found out that Tyler Perry has his own studio. Oh, I've been knew that. He and that's got a why, whole setup. Drunk. That's why he was yeah. able to make this movie within eight days. That was awesome. Yeah. You know, and he said Taraj is a natural. Like, she just took the script and just ran with it. Like, she's a natural. And when I tell you, like, this was, like, the most wickedest uh, character that they had her play. And she played the hell out of that. Like, I was, it was action from the beginning to the end. It wasn't like your normal Tyler Perry. I didn't even, it, it, I, it never even crossed my mind that Tyler Perry had pro- produced this. Yeah. It was a good ass movie, man. Yeah. Listen, here's here's my take on it. Right, he got all right. Oh, he got to do better, yo. On the creative side. Okay, really. My whole thing is, but go check this out so you can see how he has done better on the creative go, side. Because it's not I, I your average. It Trust me, it's not your when average. When it comes to fire stick, I'm listen, I'm going. <laughs> listen, I'm going to watch it again. No, seriously, I'm going to watch it again. I'll pay. Seriously? I'll you pay for you. See it again? Listen, I'll pay for you to go see it with me. Come on, yo. I'm not bullshit. Yo, okay. <laughs> listen, it. people is yeah. like, yo, I'm going to see that again. Man, listen, I just feel as though he didn't kind of like type this cast as typecast himself as a director on the same. Well, he has it. Type of movie with so. this movie, he has not. Lady T is telling Miz 100, I will pay for you to go see this damn movie. <laughs> I believe you on that. It's just that I don't think I want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, that shit going to make me come out the movie theater like, okay, let's go to Dollar Night. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> that shit, you know? That shit going to have you thinking like, wow, like this is what, this is what really go on with women that put they all they blood, sweat, and tears into a situation, how they really be feeling. And you can see why a woman can go to fuck off like how she went off. Oh, a lot man. of people have different views about it. And my thing yeah. was, you know what? I'm not going to listen to nobody. I'm going to go see it for myself. Okay. And when I, when I tell you I was not disappointed, I was on the edge of my chair. First of all, it was one of them chairs you can recline. I put the motherfucker down. I was on the edge of the chair. Yeah. Holly screaming, spitting, and talking. People was involved with the movie. Man. I have not been to a movie like that since. Uh, well, you know, Black Panther. We all was up on that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But you know, Making we was involved. Status. Yeah, being you know, take that, take that. Yeah, we was involved with it. It wasn't nobody. Yo, shut the fuck up. Let everybody was involved in talking with this movie because it was so action packed and it was just like, wow, damn. And it had you thinking, like, damn, was I really acting like that? Damn, I don't know. So I'm just trying to tell you, like, it's we'll a good ass movie. Don't listen to nobody else. Go see it for yourself. Matter of fact, don't listen to people when they tell you you shouldn't go do shit or see shit. Go do it. 
for yourself. I agree with that. Seriously, I agree with that. Because everybody got their own taste and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with telling people. Right. You, know, you have your own. All I opinion, say is go see for opinion. yourself. Exactly. But I'm telling you that I'll pay for you to go see it. And if it's yeah. good, you gotta give my damn money back. <laughs> Hold up, cause then I'll go to Dollar Night. <laughs> Yo, I wanna say this, you know, before it, you know, we ain't get a chance to talk about this. Mm-hmm. But Carmelo Anthony, yeah. he provided transportation for four thousand to five hundred kids to attend the March for Our Lives in DC rally. I thought that was real dope. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of them things that wasn't put out there, didn't make major news or major of course not. social media news. But I came across that and, you know, this is, this is you know, earlier you was talking about um, Stephen Curry doing mm-hmm. good things, right. uh, another uh, star athlete, right? you know, and Carmelo. Carmelo always been doing things on the low anyway. Yeah, but they're not going to broadcast that. But no. I guarantee if he would have slept... Somebody or you know did some crazy yeah, shit. That'd be know, all over. Negativity wins. Exactly. The more negative. And we gotta get away are. from that. The more we entertain it, the more they gonna put it out there. We stop that shit. What they gonna do? Yep. You can't keep feeding that negative energy because it's gonna keep growing and growing. Yep. So you know yeah. you wanna wrap this up because I didn't yep. even know we was past our time, man. We on yeah. a time limit, you know? Yeah, I know, right? We, yeah. So we definitely gonna wrap this up. You know, like we, like Lady T said in the beginning, this was a loaded episode. We had a lot of topics. You know, we, shit, we, the whole month of March was nothing but guests. Yeah. yeah. Four episodes, four different guests, fire episodes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, it, shit, this is our first time it being just Lady T and Ms. 100, no guests. Right. So, you know, no wonder this was loaded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had to blow our load. <laughs> <laughs> we was backed up. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, that's enough. That's enough. We're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. We're going to go ahead and end this how we always do and how we always say, dream hard, don't sleep forever. Peace. Peace. You, you, you are now an official hood genius. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all know what to do. Hit that follow button.